So how did I end up here? So I'm just about to leave this lovely abode where I stayed two nights working, writing and making videos. I thought I was going to have to pay a fair amount. The lady, Melanie, she just wants 30, 30 euros. So I'm feeling very lucky. So kind, so kind. And I'm back on the road for the next four days and then I'm going to stay in Carenton. I'm a bit behind on the videos, but it is what it is. This is quite a special church, this is the first one in Normandy I have seen. It's got an octagonal tower with a cupola on the top. Whereas they've always been, we've always had these A-cap, these, these apex caps. This is different. It's octagonal. Isn't that quite something? <laughs> I cannot believe it. I went to the chateau in the middle of nowhere and I knocked on the, uh, the door to ask if I could camp in the field next door. And they were like, Oh, oui, bien sûr, oui, oui. Uh, il y a un champ là, ici, on là. Le vent arrive là, you know. No, le, le vent vient là, you know. And, and then, you know, the. Michelle, the lady, very, very sweet, very, very gorgeous woman. She, she said, uh, "Oh, why don't you see fair foie? You know, it's cold." And it's like, "Yeah, I don't mind." And they've invited me to stay in the little outhouse, and they've invited me pour manger. So, very exciting, very exciting. So at eight o'clock, I'm going to join them for a little, little drink. <laughs> I feel like the guard I'm going for drinks and dinner. Michelle and Pablo. Pablo's Italian. Michelle, I don't know if she's French, we'll have to find out. She's got a French name, so. This is Rufus. He has a particular he particularly likes me. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> oh. That is very exciting. But not as exciting as what I've just discovered. There are there are a pair, there's a pair of stalks. In that little outhouse. It's amazing. You see them fly? 
stalks. Sigon in French. Gosh, it's amazing. Wow. That noise was uh, that that was stalks cooling each other. See the stalk out there on the pavilion. It's time to go up. So Michelle and um, Paolo were telling me that during the war, this chateau, well, Michelle, her family have had this place for up to a hundred years more. And her father, um, during the war, the chateau was taken off him temporarily. And the Germans had to stay here about uh, 200 Russians, Russian um, captives, who were working not far away from here, um, apparently within a kilometer, on a V1 launch site to fire the rockets at England from here. They never managed to complete this project, but in the chateau, Chateau de Crosville, they um, They never got to finish it. Now let me tell you something very interesting and this is the sort of thing I find fascinating. Noticed here above the fireplace, you see all these depictions of something and above there on that painting. They were once plastered escutcheons, heraldry that denoted the aristocratic families. Why are they all chiseled away, chiseled out? It's because during the revolution, every thing that may denote a, a warrior class symbol or the first estate was defaced, destroyed as much as possible. And so what I'm looking at here is the direct destruction of the French Revolution over 200 years ago. And what's really fascinating, this defacement, this destruction, this vandalism, is protected by the French state. These defacements are not allowed to be restored. They're not allowed to be covered. They have to be left like that. It's symbolic of the revolution. You'll see across France, in the streets, where there used to be emblems above doors, or in old buildings and churches, defacement, destruction everywhere. And I've seen a lot of it in my time in France. And I didn't know that that destruction is protected by the French state. It's amazing, in my opinion, absolutely amazing.
If you want to follow my adventure further, please just like, subscribe and um, press the notification button. Most importantly, you can help my GoFundMe where I'm trying to raise money in aid to tackling homelessness with the charity St. Mongo's. The link for that will be down below. Obviously, you can go follow me on Instagram at A Folly in France or at Dominique de Bonhomie. A Folly of France follows this journey in France and the other one is just me, Dominique de Bonhomie. Also, I have started a substack where my Letters to Rona blog will be uploaded and you can read that in full if you are a subscriber. Uh, but you can read half the blog on my WordPress dominicdebonomy.blog. Links down below. And if you're feeling really kind or and you like the video so much, go to my Patreon and you can support me there. 15% of all money on there will go towards my fundraising. So thank you very much and come back next time. Thank you.